Hi, it's Doug and Beans from Hammersmith Equestrian Center in East Dennis, Massachusetts. I'm Doug Wrench, I'm the head trainer. I'm Amanda McBee, I'm the assistant head trainer. So on this beautiful uh, end of the year day, uh, great riding day, we had a, we had somebody in the comments, uh, we were throwing around the word raining, Beans, yep. and I, I think uh, I think she knew what it meant, but she was saying that, well, maybe we were confusing people. Yeah. Because we were talking about neck raining, mm -hmm sometimes called raining yep. and the sport or discipline of raining okay so let's just, just briefly go over it so if any people uh, weren't too clear on it uh, by the way this is uh, Amanda's horse Jagger I'm on and that's our training project rodeo the Mustang doing pretty well so we'll have a later update on him today also yeah um, neck raining generally it's something that people do that work with their horses. Yes. They're ropers, they're working with cattle, they're barrel racers, they hold the horn, uh, or they use the, the horn for roping, they ride one-handed, mm -hmm. okay? Generally, what it revolves in is, okay, neck reining. So, during a normal two-handed, 10-inch box riding position, this hand is never going over the top of the horse's neck, okay? In neck reining, it does, mm -hmm. okay? It goes over and back and forth. A lot of people think they neck rein. Okay, unless you work your horse all the time, you probably don't. Yes. All right, are you on the trail one-handed it and yeah, the horse is kind of going, but I mean, really responsive, really well-trained for neck reining, okay? Another, another thing is reins forward, horse goes forward. Yep. You know, that's kind of a neck reining thing. So that's neck reining. A lot of people call that reining. Yes. Okay, the discipline of reining, probably one of the, boy, it rates right up there in, in the skill level, the horse oh, and yeah. the rider, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. it's a Western discipline. Um, it's it, what you typically, it, it's a very similar to dressage, although it's yep. completely different maneuvers the horses do. Yep. One of the most pop, two pop, most popular things or most identifiable are the spins. spins yep. The horses will spin and the horses will do hard stops. Okay, that's one, you know, and that's where you'll, you'll and they're, they're very, when they're spinning, they have to stop just like a figure skater on exactly the right spot and so yeah. forth. And generally reining, it's all gonna be two-handed, 10 yep. inch box, okay? When they when they go to spin their horses, they, you know, they may give a little bit over the top, you know, and they're giving this input to get them to spin, but um, they they ride two handed when they're when they're reining. So, beans, you have anything to add to that? Um, a lot of what you talk about with reining too, which we're going to be talking about in another one of our videos, is pressure and release, and this is something that Doug and I were talking about yesterday, especially when you see spins is that a lot of the time you're so focused on looking at the horse and what the horse is doing that you really only see the one movement that the rider's hand's doing which is crossing over the horse's neck but you don't see the little subtleties of their hands and the um, concept of pressure and release because in order to get that horse to spin you have to have them know that they need to have forward movement as well as lateral movement to spin on that back leg because if you just have constant pressure over here, the horse is eventually gonna move their back end out and start moving around their shoulder. So that's gonna be our video for the week. Um, so, and we're also gonna have an update on Rodeo. Rodeo left yeah. the property, so yeah. we'll get to that in our next video, but I hope that clears it up with neck reining versus the discipline of reining. Yeah. Okay, if you have any other questions, feel free to put them in the comments. Uh, like us, share us, and uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.